Hi, so in this video, we'll be continuing with part two of the AI SaaS series. So in this video, we'll be focusing on building the open AI functionality. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first you'll need to go to openai.com and sign up for an account. So you can go here to sign up and then this will allow you to create an account. But I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Okay, great. So once you log in, I'll prompt you with which of these products you'd like to use. So for now, we'll just start with the open AI models. Okay, so we'll start with this one here, the GPT function. So you can click that. Okay, great. And so this is what GPT will allow you to do. So draft documents, write computer code. So we're just going to be drafting documents because we're writing blog posts. Okay, so let's just get an API key, go here and then go into view API keys. Okay, so I already have an API key here, but you can just create a new secret key. Okay, so once you have your API key, you're going to want to add it to your environment variables in our Laravel app. So we'll do that now. Okay, so back here in VS Code, in our AI SaaS project, what we're going to do is add our API key. So you want to add open AI API key. And then I'm just going to blur out my API key. It's good practice to keep your environment variables in the .env file just for security purposes. Okay, so once you have your API key added, we can start adding the AI functionality to our app. Okay, so we're going to check out our routes just to see where our dashboard, which file our dashboard is linked to. So you go here into routes and then web. And we check here. The dashboard route where we'll turn view dashboard okay so we can just add this into its own controller just so it's a lot cleaner so here in the terminal we're going to create a controller to, to handle the dashboard functionality which will include our ai functionality as well so to do that what we want to do is php artisan make controller and we'll call it dashboard controller Okay, great. So our controller is here. So now we're just going to set it up so that it has the same functionality as the current function here, where on index, it just returns the dashboard view. Okay, so up here, what we want to do is just import our dashboard controller. Okay, so it does it automatically. So we can just clean it up like that. And don't forget your semicolon. Okay, great. So now we can replace this with our controller here. Okay, so I'm just going to exit the terminal and then go into our new controller. So dashboard controller here. And I'm going to create a new function for the index. So public function index. And then we're going to return view. And then we just check what it was. It was return view dashboard. Dashboard. Okay. Okay. So next, let's link that here. Just remove all this functionality here. Yep. And then just change it to dashboard controller class. And then we're going to access the index method. Okay. So let's just check our web app to see that this is still working. Just here in the index function, I just forgot to add the opening and closing brackets. Okay, so back here in our app, let's just go here to dashboard. Our dashboard is still showing as before, but now we transform the routes into controller based route instead of a function base like this one, how it was before. Okay, so next we'll work on the functionality of the dashboard here in the controller. Okay, so next let's create a function for our blog generator. So we're going to do in public function, then we'll just name this blog generator. Okay, so we will be using this library, the open AI PHP Laravel library on GitHub. So I just need to install this to our Laravel app. So we can just follow the instructions down here. So we'll just copy this command. And then back in VS code, open up our terminal. And then paste. Okay, great. So this has been installed. 
Next, let's follow their next instructions, which is to publish the configuration file. So again, just copy this. So back here in VS Code, we're just going to paste the command. Okay, so this is done. And then back in the instructions, they said to add our variable files here. So we did this already, open AI API key. So that's been done. And then this is how we would access the open AI API. Okay, so we're just going to copy, we're just going to copy this code here. And we're going to add it into our controller. So back here into our controller, let's just paste it here. Okay, and then we'll just bring this up to the top. And just remove this. Okay, so the idea is we're going to generate a result based on the prompt, which the prompt is going to be from our form. And then we're just, this result, we're going to bring to the front end of our dashboard page. Okay, so just looking at the format here, just make sure it matches here. So just back in our environment variables over here, let's just match the format. So I added one extra underscore. So it should be like this. And then I'll save that. And then we can continue with the developing the dashboard controller. Okay, so back here in VS Code, we, we need to get the form data from over here. So in order to do that, we need to add requests here in our function. Up here, we're going to do requests, requests, and then we're gonna get the blog topic that the user inputted. So it's gonna be topic and then requests, and then it's going to be requests. And then what did we name our input? It's blog posts here. Blog posts. Okay, so it's giving me an error here. So let's just change up the name here to be a very a better variable name. So let's just do, let's just remove the dash. And then back in our controller, let's just change this like that to blog posts. Okay, so that works now. Okay, so next we'll generate the prompt. So it'll be this here, but we're just turning it into a variable. So it'll be write a blog post about and then add our topic and then just a space okay so this is our prompt and then after we can just replace this prompt with our prompt variable here okay and then this is how we will select our our data so we need to keep this format as it will return back an array. So we have our results. And then what we need to do is take this payload and then return the dashboard view with this data. So to do that, what we want to do is, so after our prompt, what we want to do is return view and then dashboard again. But this time we're going to return a result. A result, and then it's going to be result and then choices so we're just going to copy it again choices the first index and then the text okay and then close this off and then i think that should be good so next let's update our dashboard view so that we have an area to show our ai generated content so back here in dashboard blade.php, just underneath the form, we can add the data. Okay, so here underneath our blog generator form, we want, what we want to do is if is set result, and then just end that if, we're going to output our data. So let's just do, what did we have here? Uh, yeah, so let's just copy this, another h2, and then just put blog posts, and then underneath, just the result. Okay, so this should be good. Next, let's add this post route into our web.php so that when someone submits this form, then it will call our blog generator function. Okay, so over here in our web route what we're going to do is just create a post route underneath this one so just copy this and then instead of a get it's going to be a post and then we're going to call the 
blog generator function and then after let's just name it blog generator okay and then next we need to connect that into our form so over here in form in action it's going to be route blog generator okay i think this should be good let's test out the app okay so back here let's just refresh the page okay so no errors and let's say write a blog post about cat okay so we have cats here the text is not the correct color so we'll just fix that after so let's click submit okay great so it's showing our data here but it's stopping after so let's just check the reasoning here okay so back here in the code we may need to increase the amount of tokens per blog post so let's just update that looking here in their documentation over here just adding a max token so this is the amount of resources that your account will use in order to generate the response okay so just copy that and then back in rbs code max tokens let's just give it like a thousand because it's gonna be big blog posts okay so save this and back in our app okay so back here in our app let's write a new prompt so let's do dogs and then submit okay great so there it is we have our blog post so it is you need to set a amount of tokens which you can budget for the blog post so again this is just like a small post if we want it to be longer then we would have to use more tokens okay great so i think the functionality for the blog post section has been completed so next let's do the same thing but for the image generator here okay so before we worked on the image generator let's just fix the text input here to, to be a black color so let's go back into our text editor and here in the input what we want to do is just class and then text black let's check the app just refresh okay great so that's an amazing user experience there so let's just do the same for the one down here so here in the input again just a class text black okay great so now let's go back into our dashboard controller so essentially it would be like this function again but we'll just be doing it to generate an image okay so next let's just copy the blog generator function okay and paste it down here and we're just going to change it to image generator and then we're going to say instead of topic what did we name it blog image so again with the name let's just keep it one name blog image so the topic of the image so requests and then instead of blog post it's blog image generate an image about those topic so back in the github here we're gonna go up and then we're gonna click the open php library and then we're going to view how to generate image resources here so we're going to be creating images so we can just copy what they have here and then back in vs code we're going to paste the response like so and then the prompt we're going to replace the prompt here okay and then just remove yeah we don't need that just the response here okay and then we need to go into our web routes and do the same thing here so when the image generator form is filled out then it will run the image generator function okay and then back in our dashboard the form action the same as blog generator it's route image generator okay yes yeah, so over here instead of client we need to change this to the same here open ai And then we can follow the same structure as it was here. So over here in the open AI documentation, we just need the image URL, which you just getting this data here. So this is what we need to return. And then we can add this URL to our app as an image. So back in VS code. Okay. So the response here. So in, we'll just change it to response. And then data zero URL. 
Okay, so that's good. And then we have our post route here. And then lastly, we just need to connect it to the front end. So back here in dashboard. So similarly, what we did over here, so we'll just copy that and place it below the form. But instead of a div, we'll be doing an image. It's just an image. And then the source will be, well, this needs to be set to response. And over here, the image source will be response. Okay, and then let's just change this to blog image. Let's just check the forms again. So, yep, so blog generator, it should be, we had our image generator. So that'll call this route here. Oh, so it's, let me just change that to our lowercase. And then, yep, so they match over there now. Okay, so now let's test it out on our application. Okay, so we're getting an error regarding our route. So because we have two post routes, we just need to update the naming. So back here in VS Code, let's just change the post. This one is just blog. And then this one is image. Okay, so let's check again. And I think this should work. Let's test our blog route. Okay, great. So this generated a blog post. And then in the URL, it just up updated it to blog. And then now let's try to create an image. So let's do dog. Okay, great. So we have our image generator working as well. It's awesome. So our functionality for both the blog generator and the image generator are now working. So in the next part of the series, we'll be implementing payments. So users can subscribe to a plan in order to gain access to the AI application. So that's what we'll work on in part three. Okay, so this concludes the end of the video. I hope you were able to implement open API functionality into the AI SaaS. So please like and subscribe to get notified on part three of the AI SaaS series and my future videos as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.